So there's no black and white when it comes to sexual orientation from a scientific no. perspective. You know, we talk about you know the the, the practice. You go to a, a, a Hebrew temple, and they're gonna wash their hands ceremonially before eating. That's a good practice. Yes. It doesn't matter that it's cultural. Right. Germs exist regardless of And that religion. helped when plagues were taken over the planet. Exactly. That was very helpful for yes. the culture because they washed their hands so really. Yes. It, just, it worked out wonderfully. And then you compare that to pick some other you know, religious law, say circumcision. Is there actually a benefit here or is this just we're literally taking a newborn baby and saying, almost perfect, cut its dick and then it'll be better. What is that? What is that? How is that an argument? No, really, though. How is that something we have to debate in 2022? How are we having to have the argument of whether or not it's moral to cut a baby's penis? Why is that the argument we have to have? Why can't we say, hey, don't cut baby dicks. Let, let, Rule number one let, let, about the universe, don't cut baby dicks. Let's just not, let's not and just say that that was a thing. But see, <laughs> we can't have conversations about that. We can't have conversations about how people choose to, my romantic life mm -hmm. is an agenda. Yeah. That's the thing that's so profound to me, yeah. and I'm like, oh wait, well, so then, uh, but the heterosexual has, oh, they, well, the, they've well, always had to be in general. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, here's my thing, and I want your, your feedback on this too, because I've heard so, for so many years, and unfortunately, because you know, I love Jesus, I said the same stuff. Oh my God, you can't be watching that stuff because it's going to get on your children. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, if he's gonna expose them to that lifestyle, right. right? And you know, I believe that until I realized, you know what? I'm a Disney man, and I, I love all things Disney. And there is not one gay couple there. All I've been raised under for the time I was two, three, four years old was heterosexual romantic relationships. It has not made me hetero yet. Isn't Absolutely. that amazing? How that Absolutely. agenda, even if that I believe that it was an agenda, it doesn't work that way. There was an argument going on not too long ago on social media. I know this is anecdotal, but like I was watching this person talk about it, about whether or not little boys should be allowed. To be playing with kitchen play sets because, because it's going to turn them gay. Like because that. men can't, exactly. Men can't and there is even a subsect of that argument saying buy them barbecue play sets, not kitchen play sets, because that's manual. Why are, why are we, why are we talking? Why, okay, I can't take it. And that's, it was the same argument of just a, a little while ago, Lucky Charms released unicorn shaped marshmallows. and. Facebook exploded with people saying, this is gonna turn the kids gay. They're gonna, they had an androgynous little kid. I love that you said you that. I, I love that you and said like, that. All these kids are gonna turn gay from this thing. And I'm over here saying, first of all, I've eaten the damn Lucky Charms. At no point was I like, oh, look, a unicorn. I wonder what dick tastes like. Right. And they keep eating it. No, I've never had that problem. <laughs> and then second of all, if you're really on that precipice, if you really think that picking up a plastic spatula or eating a marshmallow is gonna turn you gay. I'll see you at Pride! You're already there! You need to explore it for yourself, dude! Like, <laughs> present. You don't turn gay. That, that, you don't turn. You just don't! Yeah, that's not a thing. So, for, okay, so now, you, okay, so you're hearing it from me, but you know, I'm not a scientist and I'm black and gay and I'm off to the side. You understand that. But okay, scientists, man, what it say it, say it, scientists, man, is that they believe you, you don't turn gay. You don't turn gay. Okay. You don't turn gay. That's a okay. fact. Uh, okay, your sons, okay, I'll need y'all all to take a breath for just a second, take a breath, <laughs> all right? We all gotta bring it in. Take a breath, all right? Your sons can learn to cook, it's okay. Yeah, I promise you, they're not gonna be on my team that way. And if you're concerned about that, let, let Mr. Forrest here, uh, hopefully he'll put your mind at ease with that. Give the brother a, a spatula, give, give him a, make, let, let him learn to bake too, let him learn from your grandma, it'll turn out well, okay. Cooking might not put them on your team, doesn't mean that it won't land them a date. That way, well, well, that's true, because we love, I want a man that can cook. Anyway, <laughs> sidebar shit, you don't turn gay. You don't turn gay, you don't that's turn gay. The, the, the vast preponderance of evidence is, is our um, agenda we just want to exist exactly that's the gay agenda is to exist yes. that, that, my agenda is to exist and yes. quite frankly the introduction of, of gay characters of queer characters of trans characters and the emerging of that mm -hmm. is not because we have an agenda of making everybody gay because you can't do that anyway or we would all be yeah. heterosexual because that's all we've seen for the most part throughout right. history right right but it's given people like me when I was four years old and seven years old and I felt like I was the worst, most disgusting creature on the planet. 
giving me someone to look at mm -hmm. in entertainment, in music, in religion, yes. to say, hey, it's actually okay, would have actually done a world of good for me for my mental well-being. Imagine that. And that's exactly the point. It's about representation because it's, <clears throat> it is so much worse to teach kids like you to abuse yourselves by covering up who you really are than it is to, to, to you know, let you go out in the world and just be you and risk. Yes, there are shitty people out there, to, but if we want to teach people how to grow, we need to teach people not to be homophobic, yeah. not to be bullies, not to be oppressive, not to be but transphobic. Not we don't need to teach kids how to avoid being yeah. bullied. We need yeah. to stop which, or which we have to do for survival purposes, just exactly. survive. We right, and that's but the they're damn not religion. homophobic. They just want to help us. They want. They to want to you know, protect you and straighten you out and all this thing. Literally, and that's out. and that is. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not using hyperbole here. That is torture. When we talk about things like conversion therapy, that is torture. That is absolutely torture. It is mental, sometimes physical, and very much emotional torture. And it is training kids to, you said it perfectly, to think you're disgusting, to think that you're dirty, to think that you're diseased, to hate yourself rather than doing what you should do, which is love yourself and be yourself because there's nothing wrong with you. That's the thing of it, is that it, it, it's a beautifully subversive idea that if something makes you happy and it doesn't hurt anybody else, go for it. Right. And if that means being who you are, exploring who you are, that's the thing. You know, we made jokes a minute ago about, you know, you might already be gay. Nobody explores themselves. Right. I'm, I'm not, not saying- No one had the permission to do that. Right, I'm not saying you have to go out there and get on Grindr. Right. I'm saying take some time to think right. and allow yourself Wait, you say, take some time to think. Say that one more time. Take, take time, time to think to and ask yourself questions and explore who you are because nobody gets the chance to do that. And we shame people and we put people down who do that. And especially if you come out what people don't think you should be, which is insane. The fact of the matter is that uh, if you try to trim yourself to everybody's expectations, you're very quickly going to whittle yourself down into nothing. And if you don't choose who you are, somebody else is going to choose for you.